Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, I'm Mayor Patricia Lock Dawson. Welcome to the City of Riverside. And it's my pleasure to welcome everybody here to the Community Settlement Association. It's the food distribution center on this end of town in the city of Riverside. Thank you so much to Ninfa Delgado and our Community Settlement Association for being such a gracious host today. Thank you. And I want to begin by recognizing our partners and our elected officials and all the representatives that are here in support of this very important work that we're doing today. So from, and please just hold your applause till I um, find my way through my list here. Um, our elected officials, representative from Congressman Mark Takano's office, representative from Senator Richard Roth's office, representative from Assembly Member Sabrina Cervantes's office, and representative from Riverside County Supervisor Kevin Jeffrey's office. We also have our Ward 2 Council Members representative um, Clarissa Cervantes's Miguel is here. Uh, we have our Ward 6 Council Member uh, Jim Perry. I think I saw him out there. Thank you, Jim, for always coming to these things and showing up for your community. Um, we have a representative, I saw, I think, Lizeth Vega out there from uh, Council Member Steve Hemingway's office, and the County Office of Education Superintendent Dr. Edwin Gomez. Albert Unified School Board member Lizeth Vega. Yes, she came twice. She has two hats. Uh, Riverside Unified School District member Kathy Alavi is here. And the Riverside County Office of Education Board member Ben Johnson is also here. So please give these officials a round of applause. Thank them for being here today. And then we also have our Project Dash partners that are here today. The Community Settlement Association, who I mentioned the Lighthouse of Hope Foundation, the Sahaba Initiative, Moreno Valley Community College, Feeding the Neighborhood Project, and our community stakeholders, Riverside Community Health Foundation, and the NAACP of Riverside. Please give them a round of applause. And I also want to thank DoorDash for being exceptional partners in this first of a kind partnership to address food insecurity. Food insecurity is all too real an issue here in Inland Southern California. Roughly 400,000 people in Riverside and San Bernardino counties are experiencing food insecurity. That's unacceptable. So when President Biden announced the White House Conference on Hunger, Nutrition and Health, it was a no-brainer for us to answer that call. Here in Riverside, we're leading the effort regionally to address food insecurity by forging new and innovative partnerships with key stakeholders in our community. And I'm pleased to also be able to contribute additional staff to our partner pantries through the Youth Job Corps funding secured by my office in partnership with Governor Gavin Newsom. This is how partnerships work. You leverage them. This program creates a more dignified pantry experience by reducing the stigma of seeking a helping hand, by increasing food security, and by eliminating transportation barriers. I'm proud to be standing here alongside our valued partners who are helping us launch the first ever partnership. This is the first ever partnership in the United States between any city and DoorDash. So thank you, DoorDash, for choosing Riverside. And uh, maybe this is a first step to opening a DoorDash satellite office here in Riverside. I hope so. And while I'm overjoyed that Riverside is the first city to partner with Project Dash to address food insecurity, my hope is that we are the first of many cities to engage in critical partnerships like these. In fact, as it stands today, our partners have already delivered almost 3,000 meals to local families. And I'm happy to announce that the Sahaba Initiative has committed to deliver over 500 turkeys for their holiday delivery service this year. So one of the greatest hurdles to addressing food insecurity 
is knowing where the food exists. Where do you get your food? This partnership gives us the ability to use local delivery data to help us see the areas with the most need, which empowers the city to plan and act using data-driven decision-making. So we're so excited to be partnering with DoorDash to broaden food access and with our nonprofit partners by facilitating local delivery through funding and other support to help ensure food travels to people, not the other way around. I hope food insecurity becomes a distant memory here in Riverside, thanks to this first of its kind partnership. And now I would like to introduce Ninfa Delgado from the Community Settlement Association so she can say a few words about the partnership. Ninfa, who I also call a friend. Thank you, Mayor Dawson, and good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. My name is Ninfa Delgado, and I have had the pleasure of serving the Riverside community for the last 30 years, and 18 of those through my work with the Riverside Community Health Foundation. I'd like to welcome you to Community Settlement Association on behalf of our President and CEO, Dr. Dan Anderson, and its Board of Directors and staff. I'd like to acknowledge our board members who are present here today, our Board Chair, Tom Podgorski, our Secretary, uh, Rosemary Smith, and Board Members, Art Alcaraz and Ben Johnson. We are honored to be hosting today's launch of its first of its kind partnership between the City of Riverside and Project Dash in using this innovative tool in helping to address food insecurity in our community. Thank you, Mayor Dawson, for your leadership on this critical issue and to the staff at the City of Riverside's Neighborhood Engagement Division for sharing this resource with us. I'd like to thank our partners there at the City, Aggie Padilla and Amariz Gonzalez. Founded in 1911, Community Settlement Association has been focused on family wellness, education, civic engagement, cultural awareness, and strengthening the community in Riverside for over 100 years. One of these vital services is our food pantry uh, services, which is housed here, and is one of the locations used to deliver food from this partnership between Project Dash and the City of Riverside. We actually have the program going on as we speak. CSA's food pantry program is designed to help mitigate the growing food insecurity in the city of Riverside with the goal of creating increased access to healthy food by improving nutritious food options amongst our food insecure populations. Before the pandemic, we provided our services using a traditional model. We offered the food at the center for pickup. Clients would come in to register or sign in and then wait around for the distribution time. The COVID-19 pandemic only emphasized the need for this service. And we quickly made adjustments to the program to be conducted outdoors in a walkthrough style as many of our participants walk to the Center for Services. I am proud to say that we did not have a break in this service due to the pandemic. We have dedicated staff who are committed to our mission and perhaps more importantly, committed to serving our community. Although we have been short staffed, we have found a way to make it work so the community does not go without this vital service. I'd like to acknowledge some of our staff who is currently working uh, from Community Settlement Association, our social services and administration coordinator, Nayeli Peña Quiroz, and our food pantry specialist, Jessica Anaya, and others from RCHF staff who have helped throughout this whole time, Gina, Berta, Desiree, Yolanda, and many other volunteers. You might see some of our community members also volunteering to help to distribute the food in this community. During the start of the pandemic in mid-April 2020, we began implementing a contactless delivery service for our elderly and high-risk participants who needed to limit their exposure or were also unable to physically come to the center. We were delivering 20 to 20 different homes at that time. This project has allowed us to reach currently 85 deliveries. We launched in July of this year, and since then we have delivered 1,904 bags. This was as of Monday. 
this partnership with the City of Riverside and DoorDash allows us to expand our capacity to assist our program participants. This partnership ensures the food our neighbors depend on now arrives at their doorstep conveniently and safely. This partnership has been a game changer in our ability to not only serve our elderly and high-risk clients through deliveries, but also to offer delivery as an option to clients as an alternative to standing in line and either in cold, rainy, or high heat temperatures, especially for our clients who have multiple competing priorities with childcare, lack of transportation, work hours, and other responsibilities to attend to. We have one of our client stories, we have several, but one of ours um, is our, one of our social service clients who actually recently began to receive the delivery services and talking to Nayeli. Uh, she has an autistic child and is unable to come as uh, during the program hours. In addition to that, both her and her husband have been limited with their income as both, them, both of them work in a swap meet setting and business has been slow. They have shared with us that uh, this is the food that they eat on a daily basis. This is what they have in order to feed their family. So really emphasizing the critical need for food distribution services. We have another client who, as we were giving out um, the food here, said to us, looked over and said, thank you. No, really, thank you. God bless you. I don't know what I would do without you. Those comments really get to you. So I want to thank the city of Riverside. Thank you, DoorDash. Thank you to our staff who have done an amazing job to continue to serve this community, our community here in the east side. Thank you. I'd like to introduce um, Donna Satya from Lighthouse for Hope Foundation, um, who's going to share with us a little bit more about these stories, such as the one I just shared in serving the community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Nympha. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Donna Sautia, and I am the founder and CEO of Lighthouse of Hope Foundation. Lighthouse of Hope Foundation was founded in 2020 in the midst of a pandemic. I'm honored to be here today, and I'm grateful that we have such leaders like Mayor Dawson and DoorDash who are finding innovative solutions that helps with the urgent issues of addressing food insecurity. The vision of Lighthouse started with me filling Ziploc bags full of beans and rice for the community family members that are in need. We started with 10 bags, then it grew to hundreds, then to thousands. As the need in our community became more and more apparent, as the work we were doing began to grow and the donations began to pour in, I then retired from my licensed childcare business of 20 years to focus more on serving the community full time. At Lighthouse of Hope, we see that the needs of the community have deepened. In addition to offering a food pantry three to four times a week, we also offer community-wide food distribution every third Saturday of the month, where hundreds of families come out and thousands of individual family members are provided for and taken care of. The work we do has expanded. Lighthouse is having a grand opening of our computer and resource room and Lighthouse Boutique Clothing Closet. Our computer and resource room will offer computers for the community to come in and use for job search. Our Lighthouse Boutique will offer clothing for those that are in the process of getting jobs, to have those clothing for those job interviews. Even with all of that that we're offering, one of the most amazing partnerships we now have is DoorDash. DoorDash, prior to that, we were delivering to our elderly families. Due to COVID, their systems were compromised. So we were delivering, and I believe one Saturday we delivered to about 26 families in one, just in one day, and that was on our own prior to DoorDash. So now that service we offer was over a year now, and now with this new partnership, we have been able to do so much more. We are now able to offer DoorDash to our families, to our community families, anyone in need within a 10-mile radius of our foundation. I'm excited to say that in the last five weeks, we have delivered over 500 grocery bags to the community families through this amazing program. 
I'm excited to see the positive impact and the partnership that DoorDash is having on our community families in addressing our food insecurity. The need is great. In closing, this is why partnerships like the one we are embarking on today are so important. This is a major step forward to addressing food insecurity here in Riverside by finding new ways to help meet the needs of our community. Thank you again to Mayor Dawson and to DoorDash, the city of Riverside, for making this partnership possible. We are so thrilled to be a part of what's happening today and the families that will be positively impacted by this DoorDash partnership. Thank you so much. And I would like to now call up Caitlin Gillis from DoorDash to say a few words. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today and a special thanks to the Community Settlement Association for hosting us today. My name is Caitlin Gillis and I lead the strategy and operations for DoorDash's government and nonprofit team. I want to echo everyone's sentiment here and, and just say that we are so thrilled with this partnership um, with the city of Riverside and so excited for what's to come. Food banks and pantries have always played a vital role in our society and that was really heightened during the pandemic. We're proud that through DoorDash and through Project Dash, we're able to utilize Project Dash's logistics to help increase access to food. And we're proud to say that over, over the last three years since Project Dash has launched, we have delivered more than three million deliveries across the United States and Canada for those individuals in need. Thank you. Um, we truly believe that local delivery is a transformational solution that can provide individuals access to these resources that they need in a safe, reliable, dignified, and convenient way. In conclusion, I just want to thank everyone once again for coming, for joining us today. Thank you to everyone for sharing the stories as well from, from the clients that are impacted by this and for just truly coming together to, to address food insecurity. I'd like to bring up Mayor Dawson to uh, close us out here. All right, thank you everybody. And now we're gonna kind of show you a little sneak peek of how it works. Caitlin and I are gonna grab our DoorDash food box and go to our Dasher and head out to make a food delivery to the family. So just, we'll be over here. Thank you.